welcome to Extension Kitchen. I'm Stephanie McCurdy, the Health and Human Sciences Educator for Purdue University Extension here in Fayette County. And today I have with me Jay Scarrett, and he is one of our fabulous 4-H'ers. Good afternoon, Jace. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Jace is here with me today because he has been a proud 4-H member for how many years? Um... You didn't know it was going to be a quiz, did you? No. No. <laughs> what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth. So at least two, right? And you did mini 4-H before that. Yeah. So mini 4-H for three and two years in regular 4-H, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So um, do you like 4-H? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite project that you've done so far? Goats. Goats. How many goats do you have? This year I have three. Yeah. So 4-H is a great program that we have. It's um, through Purdue Extension and it is a national organization that promotes leadership development for youth. So Jace has grown up in a 4-H family. He has two older brothers who are also in 4-H. And is this their 10th year or is this their ninth year? Ninth. Ninth. They got one more year. So. You've grown up having 4-H for as long as you can remember, right? Yeah. And Jace's family is very well connected in our 4-H community and volunteers a lot for our 4-H organizations. So we're super excited to have Jace here today. Um, we're going to make a, a recipe and talk a little bit more about 4-H. Um, because a lot of the projects that you can do in 4-H that promote leadership development um, range from photography, shooting sports, um, livestock, right? Mm -hmm. uh, cake decorating, foods, um, leather craft, uh, gardening, aerospace, all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. So what other projects besides goats have you done? Uh, sheep, leather craft, construction toys, um, Art and I forget the others. Yeah, but lots of different things, right? Mm -hmm. So when you sign up for 4-H and you pick your projects, you can um, actually pick something you've never done before and learn a new skill, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, what what like what's your favorite new skill that you've learned? Anything that you've tried and been like, I'm gonna try that and see if I like it. Leather craft. Leather craft. Jace was actually in our office this week picking up some um, equipment to help him work on his leather craft project. So super excited to, to see that. Mm -hmm. What are you making this year? I'm making a knife, knife sheath. Perfect. Is it going to wear on your belt? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So if you want to join 4-H, 4-H um, enrollment starts on October 1st of every year and runs through January 15th. And you go to... Um, 4HOnlineV2.com and you can sign up there. So we'll make sure that um, if you want to join a club, we can help you here in Fayette County join 4-H and have a great time with the rest of the kids. We have about 450 kids that sign up for 4-H every year and due to a generous contribution through the county, um, through a private anonymous donor, um, we have a zero enrollment fee. So it is free to register for 4-H to belong to the program. So if you're interested, make sure you contact the office or sign up at 4-HOnline.com. Are you ready to make our pistachio pineapple pudding today? Yep. This is a great recipe because not only is it a quick and easy recipe, it's one that is a really good snack for after school or taken to a pitchin or something like that. <laughs> um, we are making a version of it that is diabetic friendly just in case anybody out there needs a little bit of an opportunity to make something that's diabetic friendly. So we're going to start right here. What's our first ingredient, Jace? One ounce of sugar-free pistachio pudding mix. Perfect. We have that right here, our Jello pistachio mm -hmm. pudding mix. Uh, whenever you are making something in the kitchen, you need to make sure you wash your hands really well with soap and water. Make sure that you wash for a solid 20 seconds. So if you want to sing the happy birthday song to yourself while you're washing your hands, you absolutely can. Jason and I took a few minutes to wash our hands before we started cooking today. So there we go. Do you want to pour this in there? Yep. Perfect. Do you like pistachio pudding? I've never had it. Oh, well, 
today is going to be an adventure for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's our next ingredient? Uh, two cups of vanilla low-fat yogurt. No. Vanilla yogurt. Perfect. We have um, some light Greek yogurt here. You can use regular yogurt or you can use uh, vanilla flavored yogurt. Mm -hmm. Or if you were using one of some different flavor combinations, you could pick whatever yogurt you wanted, like yep. strawberry banana or something like that. Might be a little weird with the pistachio, but you never know. It might be really good too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make our two cups here. Greek yogurt is super good for you. It has lots of protein. And then, there's one. Do you like yogurt? Mm-hmm. Good. Because there's two cups of it in our recipe. Mm -hmm. Instead of using milk, when you normally make pudding, we use milk, right? So instead mm -hmm. of using milk, we're using yogurt as our dairy. Mm-hmm. All stuck inside of our measuring spoon here. There we go. All right, Jace, what's next? Uh, eight ounces of canned crushed unsweetened pineapple. Perfect. So we have um, our pineapple here. Eight ounces, right? Yep. That's Eight a cup, ounces. right? Um, so we're just going to um, spoon it into our measuring cup because pineapple doesn't come in 8 ounces. It comes in 20 ounces, <laughs> and we don't need quite that much. So we're, whoops, I am a messy cook. Did you know that? Mm -mm. I feel like cooking is a full body experience. I didn't wear an apron today, so hopefully I won't get it all over my clothes. All right, do you want to put that in there? Yep. This going to be your favorite part right here. What's the last ingredient? One cup frozen low-fat whipped cream. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, Put some Cool Whip in here. I'm going to make it a generous one cup. Are you okay with that? Yep. Who's not okay with that, right? <laughs> I'm just going to pile it up. Put that in there. All right, Jace. We're going to mix it all together. Go ahead. Use your muscles. <laughs> It's already turning green, isn't it? Yep. So uh, one of the things that makes this diabetic friendly is the protein that we're getting from the Greek yogurt and the sugar-free pistachio pudding. Mm -hmm. um, cool Whip is already low carb, um, so it is a good uh, diabetic uh, friendly dessert topping to use. Um, if you're not diabetic, you can use um, regular sugar or regular pudding, um, you know, even more fruit. Mm -hmm. Go from there. Keep stirring because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be green when it's all done. Get those muscles. Go for it. You didn't know you were going to be working up a sweat today when we were cooking, did you? No. No. <laughs> no. Does this inspire you to maybe you want to take some foods? Mm. Not a cooker? No. No? What's your favorite food? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. That's one of my favorites, too. All right. That looks pretty good. All right. Um, are you ready to taste it? Yep. All right. Now this is a one and done, right? No double dipping. Mm -hmm. Mine has extra Cool Whip <laughs> on it. What do you think it's going to taste like? Uh, pineapples and pistachios. Yeah. 
All right, you ready? Yep. Cheers. Mmm, delicious. Good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Well, if you would like to join 4-H, if you're under the age of 18 and in uh, third grade and up, um, make sure you contact our office at the uh, Purdue Extension in the courthouse. Um, you can also enroll in 4-H on 4-H online, um, v2.com, and we would love to have you. We can help you find a club that really suits your needs. So thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on Extension Kitchen. Bye.